Hello, in this video I want to present you my new timer. I want to show you how to operate it and explain a few tech stuff about the timer. Um, well, first the connection. Then on the left you should connect the server. S for the signal, plus for the positive and the last one for the negative one. Like this. And on the other side, the middle for the positive and the black for the negative, like this. Well, at the start of the top you can see some blinks, I'll explain them later. And what you see now, the red light, the red LED is blinking one time per second. This is the standby mode, which means uh, it's draw uh, about 2 milliamps and it does nothing, just waiting for your command. Well, let's operate it. If I press, press short press here, it will start blink blue and red, like this. And after a few seconds, it should uh, move the servo for DT position. And as you can see, the red LED uh, continued to blink alone, which means we are back in uh, standby mode. Well, what else can we do here? Um, for example, uh, if we started the timer like before and we want to reset the, the timer and not go back to the standby mode, just to reset the counter of the timer, we can press again on the button like this. Now, you can see it start and if I press again it start the count from the beginning which means if you started the if you pressed on the button and then you you regret and you want to get more time you can press it again and if you want to come back to standby mode all you need to do is to long press like this until you see both lights blinks and when you leave it, you can see the red LED blinks again, which means we are back in standby mode. As you can see the operation is quite simple, you have short press and long press. When you long press on the bottom, after you hold it for about 2 seconds, both LEDs will start to blink and that notifies you that it recognized that you made a long press. Well, this was the operation of the timer, but now if we want to program it, what should we do? So here it's a little bit get complicated, but I hope it will be not that complicated. As you can see, we have only one button and two LEDs. I try to make it simple as possible. Well, if we want to program the timer, all we need to do is to long press on the button when we are in standby mode like this, when the red uh, LED is blinking. Well, I will press it, long press. Now we see both LEDs, which means it knows that it's long press. And when I leave it, now we can see that the red and blue LEDs are fade in and fade off. Well, these are two different menus, the red menu and the blue menu. The red menu is for the several rotation direction, counterclockwise or clockwise. And the blue menu is for programming the time. Well, let's see at the beginning how we can change the position of the server, the direction of the rotation of the server. When we will see the red light, when the red light is on, we'll short press on the bottom, like this. And you see that the server moves to the other side, which means this is the start position after we change it like this. If we try again, like now, you can see both LEDs are blinking. Well, this is supposed to be for Nichrome, but it's still not available yet. And if we'll try again when it will be red, like now, it will rotate to the other side, which means this is the new start position. Um, okay, now if you want to change the time, all we need to do is to enter the blue menu, like this. Okay, 
Now we, we can see the red is on all the time. This is the minutes uh, menu, which means here we can uh, add minutes. The jumps is on minutes only. Well, one click is one minute, second click is two minutes, and so on. Three, four, five, 14, 15, and look what happened on 16, which it will come back to zero. Okay, that means that we are back into zero. Well, we, we want here, for example, 30 seconds, so we will stay on zero. We, we could just move to the seconds menu, like I will do now, instead of going all the way to 16, because it starts from zero. Okay, so what we do to move to the next, to the seconds menu, is to long press on the bottom. Okay, and we leave it. Now we have the blue light, which means we are in the seconds menu. All we need to do is to click again like before, but now it will jump in 10 seconds. So now we are on zero seconds, and when I click it will be 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, and now it will come back to zero again. You can see by the double blink. So let's put it on 20 seconds. Okay, and all we need to do is to long press to move back to the main menu, to the standby menu. Well, when we are back from the programming menu back to the standby menu, that means that all the new settings are saved. If we disconnect the battery in the middle of the programming, all the new settings will not save. So let's see if we press the button, it will start, and now the DT will happen after not 20, but 25 seconds, because the timer adds extra five seconds at the beginning, I want also to explain about the power consumption. Try to make the power consumption consumption as as little as possible, which means the servo will get power only when needed, which in, which happens in two cases. The first one is the obvious one, when the servo needs to move, but the second one is the when the servo need to hold on in uh, strong power. For example when you throw the glider. So that's why on the first five seconds, you can hear, for example, the servo start to buzzing. If I start it again like now, and I'll try to move it. After five seconds, you can no longer hear the buzzing, which means it's not, it's not getting any power anymore, which means uh, the servo got power for the first five seconds and later it does not need the power anymore because it's strong enough to hold uh, the wire that connected to it. As I mentioned before, I want to explain about the blinks at the beginning, at the startup when the timer is connected. Well, let's see it happen. It will be quick. Well, I, I repeat it also in slow motion, so you can understand it. First, we have three blinks of the blue and the red LEDs to notify about the starting. Then we'll have blinks of the time that program for uh, here. It's about it's 20 seconds, which means the red will not blink at all and the blue will blink twice. And then when it finished, we will see again blue and red together to notify that it's done. And after that, the servo will move to the start position in case it's not in the right position. But let's see, for example, what happened when we put like three minutes and two, 20 seconds. So let's 
come back to the programming menu. I'll press long press to come back to the programming menu. Now it blinks like this, it means that it recognizes the long press. Red menu, blue menu, in menu. We need the blue menu, so we will click now. Now, this is the minutes, we want three minutes, for example, one, two, three. And continue to the seconds menu, so long press. Okay, and let's put 40 seconds. One, two, three, four. And long press, press again. And we're back. Now the uh, the program, the settings are saved. So we can disconnect the battery and connect it again and see the blinks. And that's it. I forgot to mention before that this battery is a single cell lipo battery and um, about uh, the timer if you have any suggestions any comments I would like to hear from you and, and make the changes that you want. Thank you very much for watching.